the biggest tech event worldwide just took place in Las Vegas, highlighting the newest flagship products from all major companies. And it seems that the fancier the jacket, the bigger the announcement. CPUs and GPUs, the brain and the brawn of any laptop. The battle between Intel, AMD, and Nvidia has been decades in the making, shaking up the industry standards and the stock market. Today we're proud to announce, for the first time, our brand new GeForce. But their journeys couldn't be more different. Back in the early 2000s, Intel was the go-to company for processors. Their high-performance CPUs, like the Pentium and Core series, were the gold standard for laptops and desktops. Intel's revenue soared to $33.7 billion, cementing their dominance for years. Fast forward to 2014, AMD was struggling until Lisa Su took over as CEO. Her leadership transformed AMD from an afterthought to a serious competitor. Check this out. This was AMD's stock price when she was announced as CEO. And this is the stock price today. That's not just a comeback, that's a revolution. AMD is now known for its Ryzen CPUs and their Radeon GPUs are becoming a top choice for gamers and creators looking for performance without breaking the bank. They've also made big strides in the enterprise market with Epic processors, which are now used in big tech companies like Meta, Google, and Microsoft. But 2024, oh my God, that was Nvidia's year. With the explosive rise of AI, the demand for powerful GPUs skyrocketed. Nvidia's GPUs became the backbone of AI computing tasks. And last year only, the stock price surged by 146%, and its market capitalization reached as high as $3.53 trillion, surpassing Apple to become the company with the highest valuation on a global scale. Keep in mind that Nvidia's flagship GPUs, like the H100, a100 series are powering the AI revolution, being used by companies like OpenAI, Google, Microsoft to train their models. AMD and Nvidia are seeing explosive growth today, but Intel, they might be struggling, dominating less of the market share. Their stock price has been steadily declining since last year, with their revenues dropping from $79 billion in 2021 to $54 billion in 2024. However, Intel is still a beast of its own. With the best engineers in the world, probably they have some innovative product up their sleeve. This battle between Intel, AMD, and Nvidia remind us how innovation, leadership, and adapting to market demand can completely change the landscape. The winners of today are not the winners of tomorrow. The only constant in tech is change. What's your take on this topic? Which company do you think will dominate the next decade? Let me know and share your thoughts in the comments.